Well, welcome back everybody. Today we're doing the 10 day update from the uh, Daphnia Monia, or however you say that, uh, eggs. Um, order it in the mail, put the eggs in the water, let them grow. Well, let's see how that has done over the last 10 days. Um, part of today's video, I am going to be separating the culture into multiple containers, so that's what this container is doing here. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let me show you the way I'm getting this set up. So we're going to start off here with some factory fresh green water. Only the best green water in the Rocky Mountains. This might take a moment. You can zoom ahead if you'd like, but uh, yeah, got some exciting stuff coming up here. This is the fourth cup. Right to the guppies. All right, pouring the fourth cup in. Nice and pretty green there. Fresh from the green water dispenser. And then next is the magic sauce. So here's the magic sauce. As you may remember from the unboxing video and me preparing this culture originally. This is the container. It's been sitting in the window here. Please bear with me for a couple minutes while I get some goodies here. I don't know if you can see any of them in there. There's some in there. To get up around the sides here, so I wash them down. Almost done here. Sorry for the silence. It'll be worth it. Just gonna get a good bit of this here, so this culture will start fairly quickly. Hopefully, this will be my first test. This came from egg, and within ten days, I definitely have not thousands, hundreds of thousands of Daphnia already. And the way that I know, I was starting to wonder if anything was happening, but I noticed all of a sudden yesterday, the green water started turning brown, which is a sign that it's getting eaten, eaten and digested. All right, I think I got enough here. Alright, so let's take a look at this here. <clears throat> I don't know if you can tell on video there, but from the naked eye there's a very big difference in the greenness of the water. I don't know if we can get the focus in here. Oh, should have cleaned this thing out better first. Get the flashlight out. 
see if we can see some of these little buggers I can see them but Picking up on camera there. Get it to focus again. Turn on the camera light. That makes a difference. No, it's more glare. Oh, believe me, there's a lot of these little bugs in here. Let me pour some of this off the top. Should be able to see some here in a moment. I don't know if we can make those out or not, but hopefully so. If not, thanks for standing by and just staring at a glass of green water. All right, so that's that. I'll make sure I get every last little morsel out of here. All right, here in a moment, I'm going to show you feeding. I think I'm going to feed the CPDs. That might be the most exciting. Well, the guppies are, but you get to see guppies every day. Let's get some uh, get some of these here for the CPDs. Yeah, not really seeing that many in here but yeah they should grow out prob I'm guessing uh, I'm gonna check this one in about 10 days and see where it's at it's gonna be in the window next to the other one there I'm gonna add a little bit more I'll probably leave it at that much green water for now but yeah let's uh, get some of these collected and feed some fish so before I show you the feeding the ravenous Danios this is some that I put in uh, my pygmy corridoria tank yesterday evening when I first discovered the Daphnia but yeah you can see them scooting around in here I have 10 pygmy corridoras and they seem to leave them alone I'm sure they snack on one every here and then but for the most part uh, yeah I can't believe these were in here overnight but let's get to the main event here all right, Get ready for a bloodbath. <laughs> I don't think they've ever seen that much live food all at once. Let's see how long it takes for them to devour all of those. Well, we don't think this is too boring. I find it rather amusing. That'll probably be enough food for them to eat for a day or two. So 
so yes this uh, that was one scoop with the net out of the existing or the green water there after I separated some liquid for a second culture this is 10 days after doing the seed pack or not I keep calling them seeds eggs um, the egg pack pretty impressed with the results I don't know if it always ends up like that I'm not paid to advertise for them I just found them and wanted to share my experience and hopefully it's helpful to some of you out there who are curious I want to say the name of the company was Green Water Farms they sell killifish eggs uh, all sorts of rotifer eggs all sorts of different bug eggs that you can use for food yeah in the lower left hand corner you should see my food culturing or fish food culturing videos playlist um, in the upper left hand corner you'll probably see my original unboxing video or if I come up with another update it may be showing up there so please hit the like button if you haven't already please subscribe if you want updates try to leave a comment if you have any questions um, I'm doing these experiments so you don't have to so ask me questions so I can answer yours thanks for watching